Hello everyone, I am Chika Chika, a passionate traveler who wants to travel the world and help people to defeat their fears. I am above that the Erasmus Mundus scholarship holder, which means I'm studying program which allows me to travel to several countries and studying in those countries while still pursuing my master degree program. In my opinion, this is the best master program ever because uh, this scholarship allows you to actually live, study and travel abroad. This video is dedicated to the topic what should you do when you receive your offer? Should you pay the deposit or no? I will describe what is unconditional and conditional offer and if you as a self-funded student or scholarship holder should pay the deposit and how long you should wait. And what also happens if you are giving results after the deadline of this deposit payment. So let's get into it. First of all, congratulations if you were given conditional or even unconditional offer. This means a big success. That means that you're able to go through all this bureaucracy by yourself and above that you're a valuable asset for the program because they accepted you. Doesn't matter if you have unconditional or conditional offer, this is a reason to celebrate. So congratulations once again. What is conditional offer? Conditional offer means that you comply with the requirements that the program wants you, but you still need to submit some documents like language certificate or something you haven't submitted it yet, but to be fully accepted, you need to do it. Usually the program coordinators write down specifically what you still need to submit. Usually those documents have to be submitted before the comments of the studies or within several months. Unconditional offer, well, that's beautiful because you don't need to submit anything else. You are accepted and now you just have to wait for the scholarship. Be careful. Unconditional and conditional offer has something to do with being part of the program, not having the scholarship offer. So now uh, you should wait for the scholarship uh, announcement. This can take two months, this can take three months. And meanwhile, you're just waiting. Uh, you can also accept or decline your offer. Um, there is usually deadline written until when you have to do it. Um, even if you receive conditional or unconditional offer, the program will usually ask you to pay £1,000 deposit until certain deadline. Now there is this question, would you like to study this program even as a self-funded student or do you want to study it only as a scholarship holder? Well, I personally, I wanted to study this program only as a scholarship holder, therefore I didn't pay any deposit. Even as a self-funded student, I suggest you to wait for the scholarship results and then paying uh, this deposit. But if you want to have a peace in mind and if you want to study this program, no matter what, pay the deposit, will probably feel better. I will tell you my experience and what has happened to me. I have applied to three programs and I was accepted to all of them. I received in March an official uh, email that I was also granted a scholarship for 2DC program and I was waiting for the results from Glocal and there was a two days gap between me either accepting or declining this scholarship from 2DC and two days after there was a results from Glocal. So I was kind of afraid of ending up of declining 2DC program and then waiting for Glocal results and not receiving scholarship, which would mean that I would not study neither of this program. I wanted uh, preferably study the Glocal program, but I needed to make sure that I will receive the scholarship. So if something like this happens to you, I suggest you to contact the program uh, coordinators, call them, email them and let them know your situation. This situation was kind of easy to solve because uh, in both programs the University of Glasgow was involved and just make sure that uh, you will get your results first and then you will make the deposit payment. As said, I didn't pay any deposit. I waited for the results and then um, I was good to go. I really hope this uh, helped you out with deciding and with the confusion about the deposit payment. Uh, as said, uh, just depends if you really, really want to study the program no matter what, then I would suggest you to do the payment and having a peace in mind. But uh, other than that, I don't think the paying the deposit is really that necessary. Subscribe this channel to support this channel because all this information I would love to spread with the others as well. Let me know for which program you're applying to and if you have received your results yet, I will be very excited. And let's connect in the comment and let others know what your thoughts are and 
and what are you going to do with the deposits. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.